Hello, my name is Diego Vera. I'm a part of the EFEC team and the developer of this story. Today, I'm going to be talking about EFRT 1820. The product owner and mentor of this project is Dr. Masood Sajadi. Our emails are down below in case you need to contact us about this story. To open up the startup settings menu, the first thing you have to do is you have to log into your effort administrator account. Then from there, you go to the startup settings tab and it should load all of your settings from the database. So if we go check the database to verify this, we can have the plaid endpoint as sandbox.plaid and plaid client ID starting as 5D0 whatever, which, you know, seems accurate. Um, I'm not going to bother checking all of this in the video because that seems a little bit tedious. Um, but if we were to go and change something, such as the production mode, we can change it from test to live mode. Then when we save the changes, it should update. So here we have the changes successfully saved. And now when we pull up the table, it'll show that we are now in live mode, in production mode one. So now when I change it back, and I go back to test, it should be in production mode zero. Now, this uh, changes it, or it changes all of the settings at runtime through the Stripe service update configuration method. Um, so what it does is it takes the startup settings from the database and it configures every single uh, configuration object within Stripe service and the Stripe configuration API key. Uh, as for the startup class, it also reads all of the data during startup. So as long as there's data within the database, it will work uh, on startup. And the way it does this is it goes and it calls uh, the web API and it requests all the data from the database and stores it within this dictionary. And then the dictionary is used to get the uh, settings as options. So that is how the backend works for the uh, the account settings back in. Once again, my name is Diego Vera. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact us through the emails down below.